Okay. Now we're doing part three. I made a movie. I made a movie. <laughs> Can you believe that, guys? Oh, my God. We wrapped the videotaping of the movie, Prisoner of Fame. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. You know, I graduated college from in 1989 with a BA in radio, TV, film, uh, and broadcasting. And it has been my dream to uh, to have a company, a filmmaking company, a documentary making company, a television production company. That has been my dream. I haven't made a lot of money doing it, you know, yet. I hope it's yet. Um, uh, but I've loved my company. I'm going to show you guys that I have my logo in my office. I'm going to turn the camera around real quick, okay? Let's see. Fat fingers, Mike. Oh, shoot. Yes, I want to continue. All right, hold on. Let's see. Turn around. Turn around, camera. Ah. Oh. There we go. See? See my Elbow Grease Productions? See? That's my company. Elbow Grease Productions. And I'm going to turn back around. Okay. Ah. It won't do it. It's just like, uh, it's like so slow. Maybe because I'm working my phone too hard and it's hot in here. Here we go. I think it's going to turn around this time. Come on. Turn around. Tur there we go. There I go. Hi. I'm back. Okay. So, I made a movie called Prisoner of Fame. And uh, it's about uh, how, um, according to the facts, how Michael Jackson switched out the dead body. Okay, the actors were phenomenal. Carl Gilliard, fantastic. I'm so lucky to have him. Um, Philip Andre Botello, he did a great job. You know, uh, I had a crew of 25 people. Oh, the director, Craig Ross Jr., fantastic. Um, 25 people were there. My friend Debbie, who I've known from high school, who does a lot of studio stuff and big movies. She did the New Edition movie. She does American Idol. She does wardrobe. And uh, she uh, volunteered her services and helped with wardrobe. And uh, my friend Deborah came back in town and she came down. And then Craig brought a production crew. We even had a production truck. You know how, you know how they have trucks on the side of the street and all that? I didn't have those big old trucks or a line of trucks, but I did have a truck. I had one production truck and we had professional lighting and oh my god and we had great cameras we had great audio we even had some fancy like roller equipment one guy had a harness where he does special camera stuff and the harness itself cost fifty thousand dollars <gasps> wow and so um, I looked at some of the dailies, and dailies are um, what was recorded, and you can see what was recorded, and it looked like the TV was on, okay? So we had to cut a lot of scenes out, you know, because it was a tiny little $35,000 budget, and that's out of my pocket. So you guys who want to donate, please do, please, dear God, do. Um, I will put you in the credits. Uh, I will put you in the credits if you uh, donate, uh, um, and I think I'm going to put who wants the most first yeah I think that's fair I think that's fair you know um, um, uh, so anyway guys you want to be um, in the credits of this movie uh, please uh, donate uh, using my PayPal account and I'll put that down in the subscription and use pearljr at truetalk.us to uh, send it via PayPal and uh, I'll thank you on my prisoner of fame uh, page on Facebook and uh, I'll put you in the credits, you know? So thank you so much for the ones that have, and I'm not gonna name you guys yet, but I have named you. You have your own thank you on the Prisoner of Fame uh, website. Um, now, um, uh, and I'd like to thank Gumbo. Oh my God, Gumbo. Thank you so much, Gumbo. Oh, you know, he helped me with the audio for Michael Jackson, The Trial and Triumph of the King of Pop. So he, him and I go back to 2005, but we hadn't worked together since 2005. And I'd like to just thank everybody. Um, the actors that we used were Carl, Philip, Brandon. Thank you so much, Brandon, for being the double of the double. <laughs> and uh, Tony, who was the security guard, and Nathaniel, 
who was the cryonics technician. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. You guys, you guys all did a great acting job. And uh, I just thank everyone so much. Craig's, Craig Ross Jr., the name of his production company is Asiatic Productions. Um, or Asiatic Inc., I think. Um, and uh, so you guys, please help me out. Oh, I'm, I'm so worried about money now um, because I'm rolling the dice, you know. I'm rolling the dice and to make this movie. Uh, so what we're planning on doing, it's, a, it's either a short film, it is a short film, but we might use it as a pilot because my ultimate goal is uh, to make a seven, of course it has to be seven, a seven part miniseries. And, you know, I didn't even realize that, and Craig didn't realize that the first day of production was 7-7, seven, seven, July 7th. Can you believe that? So I left some clues for you fans, you know, for the you know, little clues in there that you guys can pick up on, like I like this is it, and I have butterflies, and I got um, unk symbols, and I have, um, uh, what else do I have? Uh, I know, oh, Believe is in there, Believe. Uh, so uh, you guys, you know, it's gonna take a while, because now we have to still do the editing, we have to do the sound, we have to do the soundtrack, we have to do the graphics, which is the opening and the credits and all that stuff. So there's still maybe a couple months to do, and then we have to figure out how we're gonna release it, or if it's just gonna be made into a miniseries. And believe me, if you guys donate and it gets picked up by a major, you will have your name in a major production with a major company. That's my hope. 